Hey guys, welcome back. Paranoid Android is back again in the business of almost a year from its previous official release, which was based on Android Nougat. First, it was available for a couple of Sony Xperia devices, and then in the next batch, it's out for our OnePlus phones. So, those who have OnePlus 3 or 3T and 5 or 5T can flash this ROM right away, but do note that this ROM is still based on Oreo 8.1.0. So the installation process is simple, go to the custom recovery, transfer the ROM and G apps package to your phone, go to wipe tab from home screen, advanced tab and here select all partitions except internal storage and swipe to confirm wipe. Now it's time for installation of the ROM, go to the install tab from home screen, select the ROM zip file, add more zips, select G apps package and swipe to confirm flash. The ROM package is same for OnePlus 3 and 3T and it is also same for OnePlus 5 and 5T and the download links for the ROM packages are in the description below. So once the installation process is done, go to the reboot tab from TWRP home screen and reboot to the system. There's a AOSPA boot animation and the same regular initial setup. So I have booted up my phone. The launcher you get is the modified pixel launcher and when you go to the home settings, you can customize home screen, app drawer and app icons. Let's go to the settings system about phone. As you can see Android version is Oreo 8.1.0, Paranoid Android version is OA1, outdated May security patch level and the build date is August 27. With the ROM apart from the stock AOSP apps, you get AOSPA Messages app, PA Browser with Dark Mode, PA Gallery app, Shuttle Plus as default music player and the basic camera app which can take pictures, videos, panorama shots, HDR mode for pictures is there. About video recording, you have image stabilization option and it can shoot 4K videos but it only supports 1080p at 60fps. About the OS features, this is a very basic build. No extra features are there like MSU mode and customized themes, but the PA team is already working on Android Pie ROMs and they have already announced a new navigation system which most probably will be arriving with Android Pie. It's called Blink, a swipe up to the left will take you back to the previous screen, a short swipe will take you home, while the longer one will take you to the recent apps and there are also some other actions which you can check from the link in the video description. About themes, there are only two themes, by default you get the lime accent one, there is also a pixel theme but no dark theme is included. Apart from these, under the display option there is sRGB mode and a pocket detection mode which blocks screen and buttons when the device is in pocket. There are a few gestures like swipe fingerprint for notifications and about FP unlock time, it is fast, it takes about 1 second to unlock your phone. You can double press the PO button to jump to the camera and you can customize the hardware buttons. About the stability, it is a good ROM if you don't need extra features, calls have no issues, 4G works, VLT works, native video calling option is there, audio is fine too. Talking about the benchmarking scores, NT2 version 7 score is 2,11,054, Geekbench 4 single core score is 1,991 and multi core score is 6,818. So that is it, do like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon.